if you've written a song or made music that we that most people like we 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 are worship like we want to see you we want your pictures we want to touch you we're we're nervous when we see you out in public i met so and so like vince neal i saw vince neal at a hotel oh my god i can't believe i met vince all he did was wrote some songs played some songs he, he, that are he, he, fun. he rhythmically said some poetry into a microphone yeah and then now we want to look into his garbage it's because he caused an emotional response from a distance but there's a lot of people writing songs and trying to do it that's just we don't care about it that's because we didn't <laughs> we don't like it we don't like what you do and we don't care about you go to hell we don't care what happens to you well that's the general state of humanity is that deep down inside we could give a fuck about each other and we look out for the people we care about but danny devito made throw mama for the from the train so he's better than us he needs to be saved He's doing all right. Oh, when the yeah. when the boat crashes, no. when Earth is getting dis- pummeled into the sun, and then a ship, alien ship, comes. Oh, we can only save half the humans. Which ones do we save? Well, Dan DeVito's got to be saved. Well, I mean, he's, he's, Nicholas Cage needs to be saved because he's Francis Ford Coppola's son. No, I mean, I, I think they need to. I, I think they'll Nephew. be saved. Nephew, because I don't know, higher tax bracket. It, um, well, we're we're lucky because those ladies are all dead already. So, in your scenario, only people getting saved are just entertainers. Just anybody famous. I mean, that's, that's... We know who they are. I think a lot of people get confused between: Do I like this or do I know this? So, the song gets repeatedly played on the radio over and over and over and over. Like when we were younger in the '80s. Love it to the morning. <laughs> The radio, you know, whatever was on, was on and on and on and on and on. And so now, years later, there's a Celine Dion song. I know that song, so I recognize it. Yeah, so I, like it. I could be confused. Like maybe I like it. I know Celine. I know it. That's, that's, knowing doesn't mean like. Well, if it. I don't hate it, then I think I like. It. Like I'll listen to an '80s song. Oh yeah, this song. I know. I, I'll turn it up. I'm like, boy, this isn't good. Like, why am I listening to this? Like, the reflex. Da, da, da. Whoa, is that careful. the fix? Or is that oh, Duran Duran? Yeah. yeah. What was the fix thing? You remember the fix? One thing, thing leads to another. another. Da, 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 da. So I'm thinking I like that song because I, I know it. Oh, yeah. One thing leads to Oh, yeah. Good memories. For the... That's not a good song. No, but th- that you hit it right But there, I know it. It's just good right. memories. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's tied to say, a memory. Musically, yeah. you might not agree with it, but it's elicited, it elicits a response that you agree with. So th- so do I like it? You you like the feelings, the emotions that it right. exudes? That's what we said, but do I like it? So the, the, the... It's an art form that's doing its job. Art is to elicit... A, I'm sorry. No, go on. Do I like it? If I like the memory, it itself, does it mean I like it? I like this song. Do I like this song? You or like the memories that are associated with it. I can hear somebody saying, I like this song. It reminds might... me of when I was... And that's why they like it. You could even say, I like this song. It reminds me of when I was 12. And I ate popcorn on my uncle's farm. And then later you could be like, wait a minute. My uncle just has a repressed memory. My uncle raped the hell out of me. Now I hate this song. <laughs> can you change your opinion on something you thought Ooh, you liked? Yeah, something that... W- that- I used to love this movie. Now I hate it because I remember. Or your favorite movie ever. Say your favorite movie was Cuffs is your favorite movie ever. You're on to arrest. Now come out from around the cars there and lay down on the ground or something. You love Cuffs. Yeah. One time you're watching Cuffs and uh, you get violent diarrhea. Oh, I need to go to the toilet. Just violent. And you're watching Cuffs and just, oh, just shit. And your ass hurts so bad. Like part of your asshole comes out. Forgive me. I'm sorry. And you're like, oh my god, you gotta go to the hospital, and you just, oh, let me finish watching Cuffs while, you know, on my phone. There's a shootout on top of a parking structure in Powell. They think Cuffs and Bukowski. Shit. Wow. 
like me. <laughs> now, from now on, every time you watch Cuffs, you remember that pain. You kind of get like phantom pains. Now you don't like Cuffs anymore, right? That's impossible. Please, asshole! <laughs> oh, it was like Cuffs. <laughs> That's with Christian Slater and a dog, right? Thunder, yes. Oh, God. I do not remember the dog's name. He was a great dog. Oh, boy. You think he's dead? Oh, he's got it. Yes. Be. Yeah, no. He's, dogs don't live that long. Mm-hmm. Some dogs do. Nope. All dogs not go to long. heaven. All dogs go to heaven. That's just a movie, man. All dogs go to heaven because unlike people, dogs are naturally good and loyal and kind. Huh. Yeah, that's true. Oh. <laughs> that was a lot. What about Barbara Streisand's dog? She keeps having it cloned. It, now that's a good question. Is the clone is the clone dog the same dog, or is the different experience? Is the experience make the dog? I would like to sit down, Barbara Streisand. You love food. How come you're not a big fat person? Is the dog exactly the same? Well, it's, it's a genetic does it, clone. Does it know the same behavior? Nope. Like, but you cannot clone a soul. Elon Musk is working on that. Does it have the same behaviors exactly? That's like, does question. it learn the same? Does it does it learn quicker? Do you already know how to? Do you know? Can you use the information gained from his genetic predecessors to have an advantage in training this one? Or is because you just, know? Does, yeah, does it like the same treats? Or right. is it just a dog? Yeah, does That's it, the, there, there's a lot of science that can be figured out with the with you know checking in with these genetically modified pets. Steve, if you could clone one person and then you, you clone them in your home and then they're kind of like you're part of your part. You kind of own them. Is that wrong? Yeah. Yeah. But it's a mini version. It's only this big and they live in your home. So your apartment is like a world to them. Mm-hmm. So like so a tiny Christian Slater. Would they know that I was, would it be up to me whether or not I, I allow them to know the world beyond the world yeah, yeah. that I've created for them? No, you know, you, you're not allowed, you can't let them know. You, they can't leave your apartment. A lot, right. of, a lot of caveats. <laughs> a lot of caveats. Well, yeah. No. But there's a, it's a person this small and they can do, like they can provide whatever you, so who would, who's it going to be? Who are you going to clone? No, I'm not going <laughs> to, yeah. I would not, I would not. Uh, create a creature, put a creature into that part. He does not agree to that. Well, the option is do that or everyone you've ever loved gets brutally murdered with a lot of pain. Now what do you do? (laughs) Pass. He can't pass. (laughs) No, he just did. If you pass, then your penis grows teeth and gets a big face uh, and it starts biting your head. I'll I'll take those chances. (laughs) You're not going to choose. You're not going to choose a tiny Christian Slater? If he passes, that means everyone he knows and loves is brutally murdered. Mm-hmm. That's all. No, you're choosing that to happen. Yeah, that's what he chose. What, what I'm saying is you can create a, a sound studio in your house where Christian Slater can have a movie career in your apartment. Well, so no, that's, that's the thing. thing. You're, 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 For your entertainment. You're speaking about Truman Show shit, you know? Yeah, it is kind of. All right. If you eat one candy bar, what would it be? <laughs> For the rest of my life? No, just right now. Right now? Ooh. Keith? Heath bar? You got a problem with Heath bars? I love you like the toffee? That's a good yeah, choice. Is it better than score? I always mm. I want to say that I did a side by side. And I think I like Heath more, but I don't know how many years ago. I, I think score is better. Heath bars are less sweet and buttery than a score bar and instead have a hint of almond. I'm team score. He's team Heath. You got to pick one or, or the other, Steve. I, I I can't I can't form a uh, valid opinion. I can't recall the taste of score. Are you a toffee fan? I am a toffee fan. That's why I'm taking this much into consideration. Toffee up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's hard as fuck. I like it, y'all. It tastes like a heat bar. Three thumbs up for toffee. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. <laughs> I fucks with it. No, it's, a, it's why I can't just say "fuck it, score." All right, I, you know, because I I don't remember what score tastes like. All right, you know, I can't recall it. Heath, yeah, but I've had more Heaths than score. Oh, that's for sure. A score is a rare treat. I don't know. Rare. I think score might be better. It it very well could be, dude. 
But I think I he's just being difficult. How come you're not a big fat person? Carlos Summer here.